Okay, so let's look at the class diagram of these two classes. Uh, the main binary search tree, of course, is the public uh, face of a binary search tree class. We have the root and the size for attributes. Um, the methods are to create a new tree. We have something to get the length, whether it contains a key, to add a new key and value, to get a value from a key, and to delete a key. Uh, then we have all the operators implemented in Python, the in operator, uh, the iterator to allow for loops on the tree, uh, the um, index operator to allow you to look up a key, the index operator to allow you to store into a key, and the delete operator to allow you to delete a key in the tree. Then we have the tree node, which is the actual nodes that hold the data, and it has the key, uh, the payload which holds the data, the left and right child pointer and the pointer to the parent, and then has the constructor which we've discussed, the boolean operators which tell what kind of node this is, and then in these grayed out uh, methods we're going to use later uh, when we do deletes. So there'll be internal methods we're going to use, and the iterator is used uh, by the main class's iterator to iterate through a tree, but this iterator will iterate over the subtree for a particular node. So let's now look at some code for put. So put uh, is going to be how we put a new node that has a key value and basically it has to search the tree to find where to put it and it's always going to put it as a leaf. So first it checks if the tree does not have a root, which means it's an empty tree, then we just create a new tree node and, and point the root to it. Uh, if it does have a tree node, then we recursively call put on the tree node to insert the key. Uh, and then that that's a special put, you know, it's the underscore. So underscore put has a key value in the node, uh, which would represent the subtree node to search. So first it compares the key to the key of the node, and if it's less, uh, then we're going to insert a new node to the left. So what we do there depends on whether there already is a left child. If there is no left child, then we just add the new node as and set the uh, node's left child to point to it. Otherwise, we call recursively on put on the left child node to then insert into the left subtree. And then we basically do the same thing uh, if the key was greater than, we, in, we uh, check if there's a right child. If there isn't, we just add a, a new node with that key value as, as the right child. Otherwise, we recursively call underscore put on the right child. So here's the actual Python implementation. Uh, so this is the public put. So it just gets passed a key and a value. It checks if the root is uh, not none. And if it is, it uh, if it's not if it's if it, if the root exists, it calls the recursive method on that subtree. So it calls it on self dot root. If there was no root, it means it's an empty tree. It creates a new tree node and just sets the root to point to it. So now we'll have a tree with just one node in it. And it increments size. Um, so whatever happens here, after the underscore put, or this, or this, it's going to increment size by one because it has added a node. So here's the recursive call. So it basically does what we talked about in the description. It checks if the key is less than the current uh, node dot key. So if it is, it's going to go into the left uh, child of uh, current node. So it, it checks is there already a left child. If there is, it calls recursively on that subtree. Otherwise it sets the left child to a new tree node uh, and in this case it's notice it's setting the parent to point to the current node. So it points up to the the parent of what we're just inserting. Uh, and then this else here is if it's greater than it does the equivalent thing. If the right child already exists, it calls recursively on that subtree to insert. Otherwise, it creates a new tree node, setting the parent pointing up to the current node, and sets the right child. OK, now let's follow it actually working. So we're going to call put with a, a key of 17 and just a value of none. So this we come into the call. There is a root, so it's going to recursively call underscore put on node 15, which is the subtree, which happens to be the root. 
So now we've come in here and we're into this into the recursive call. And it compares the key to uh, the current node, which is the root node. And it's uh, this is going to be false, so it's going to jump down to this else. And uh, current node, remember, is 15, so it's going to recursively call put on the right tree, uh, right child, which is the 43, so it's going to call it on 43. And this is going to come back in recursively and, and come in here as node 43. So now it's inserting on the subtree that's just this uh, 43 tree. So it's going to check the key to 43, and it's less than. So we're going to go to this uh, uh, part of the if, and it's going to see, is there a left child? There is. So we're going to recurse and call into the left child. So it's going to call the left child, which is node 19. So we're going to come back here into the uh, routine again with node 19. And uh, 17 is less than 19, so it's going to go into the left child. And so we check, does the left child exist? No, it doesn't, so it's going to jump down to the else. Create a tree node and set the parent to current node. And then set the left child of number uh, 19 to point to the new node. So here it's created the new node and linked it in. And uh, just a note that, uh, so this is how it works. Uh, this code doesn't work if you have a key value that's already in the tree. And the author points that out in the book. So he actually uh, offers that as a thinking thing. How would you fix the code to handle a duplicate key? And uh, a clue is when you have a duplicate key in a map, what do you do? Well, you replace the, uh, the value for that key. So it's an existing key. You just replace the value.